Hold up. Hello and welcome back guys to a new episode of Hot Wheels Racer from my channel Casual Mobile Gaming. Thanks for tuning in again and we are finally there. We have all sets, all vehicles, all cars. We got them all unlocked and I'm going to give you now my top four. That means from each set, my favorite ride I'm telling you. It is not easy to pick those because we got some pretty nice bad boys here and it's not easy to tell which one is actually my personal favorite I'm telling you exactly why but yeah I'm currently enjoying a little cold so my voice is a little bit <coughs> itchy so don't, never mind that but my dog really enjoys that I got a husky and husky in the snow I tell you guys they love it if you want to see my husky actually I will put a link down there he has his own Instagram account that's funny but yeah, let's go now. Let's start with the off-road section. Here we got the Rip Rod, the Dogzilla, the Unit Up, the Mountain Mall, and the Biobone Shaker. And here's the first surprise of the day. Because I'm not going for the Biobone Shaker. I'm actually enjoying the Mountain Mauler way more. Why so? Because the levels in the off-road section are... I mean, most of them I was able to come to finish and beat with the Mountain Mauler. The Bayer Bone Shaker is a little bit too fast sometimes, just a little bit too fast, so you over jump hills, you over jump boosts and stuff like that. So I'm enjoying a good ride in the Mountain Mauler, even though sometimes I'm just losing against the Bayer Bone Shaker. But just telling that balanced, uh, so just by balance I really enjoy the Mountain Mauler. Of course the Bayer Bone Shaker is a little bit faster because unless I mean, one of the main differences compared to MMX Slam Racing is that um, each ride, each next ride has an an extra, you know, like an extra upgrade level. So we, we start with 7, then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and so. So that's how it is and there's no GT or SX1 version like we had in MMX Slam Racing. So that's actually a little bit sad, but that's how it is done here in Hot Wheels Race Off. So that means if you for example want to get the last ride out of the creatures level that means you need to get all 19 other rides right before oh i should have got that little gas tank there oh there we go i'm still making it i'm still making i i don't need i don't care i know this is already the end but whatever this is the end and i'm taking the boost and bringing it home i didn't win here but you see i did even an easy time here did my three stars easily and stuff like that with the Mount Mauler. If I would focus a little bit better, I could definitely beat at least a flat one minute. But overall, I'm telling you, I'm enjoying the Mount Mauler more than the Bio Bone Shaker. So let's get to the next one. We got the old alternative and here we got the biggest differences between the different rides. So we got the Cruise Bruiser, the HW Popper Wheel, the Spectite, Audio Tune, the Dragon Blaster. Let's, let's go step by step. The Cruise Bruiser is like a, a stretch limo family wagon. Um, yeah, you need to ride it and you're, you're glad when you get rid of it, but <laughs> then you're not glad to get rid of it because the next one you need to ride is the HW Popper Wheelie. And this one, yes, this one looks weird and it drives weird. It's always tipping over, falling over, and this is, <coughs> sorry guys, and this is unbelievable. This car is, yeah, wow, this car definitely gave me a lot of headache. But you need to get rid of those, and then you start enjoying, because then the Spectite is an overall very steady car, not too long. I, I, I hate it when they're too long, you know, like a stretch limousine. So not too long, very steady, not too fast. So easy, easy to, to compete with that one. Then we got the Audio 2, a little rocket, very nice, nice design, very cool. And But then, I mean, here, I was a little bit puzzled, should I go for the Audio 2, which is a very nice car, but in the end, I mean, you can get a Dragon Blaster. And this is a fire-spitting dragon which you're driving there. Hello? So, uh, is there anything else I need to tell? A fire-spitting dragon? So let's go and go for a ride with our fire-spitting dragon. Because that's what we all want to do, right? Who doesn't want to have a fire spinning dragon? 
I mean, this little, just this little feature there is amazing. I love it. I really love it. You push and he's fire spinning. That's so cool. Oh, we need to push the brakes because if you fall over before the lift is lifting up the obstacle, you're going to have a bad time, my friend. Or oh, maybe I can beat my person the best, but we don't know yet. We don't know yet. Hey, let's see. Let's see. He's flying. He's flying like the wind, man. There we go. Another jump. Uh, we need to go a bit back and go ahead go ahead there we go but even though this thing looks like it's not even close to like having an easy time on the on the track this thing is actually easy to to handle you know and this was something amazing for me Oh, we're actually going for personal best time. Amazing 56 seconds. That's a track pass and a vehicle best. Yes, that's how I like it. Yeah, the Dragon Blaster is a cool ride. It's a cool ride. It's, fire sp it's a fire spilling dragon and it is fast and it's easy to handle. It's not tipping over. Very nice ride. Very nice ride from the alternative set. So, and there we go to the next one, the muscle set. Here we have the most less differences among the, each other so we got the night shifter the bulletproof the muscle speeder the d muscle the roger dodger and here they all are very very much the same then they they don't have big differences in hate and uh and you know like they're all kind of like the same yeah weight doesn't matter in this game but yeah they're all kind of the same shape and um, just a simple car and that's why the roger dodger is a pretty good deal for that one there's nothing more to say. The Roger Dodger is definitely my number one out of the muscle section. Because here you need speed in the section and you're going to have a good time. But no, let's go. I'm not going right with the muscle. This is easy. This is too easy. So let's go for the creature section. Here we have again a big variety of different cars. And this is amazing. Kudos to Hot Wheels to actually design those. And I'm actually in love with those. I I, I want to buy myself some on eBay from those creature set because I really they're just amazing they just they just look amazing I want to have some of them so we got the Scorpedo which is yeah you're driving a scorpion basically the Scorpedo then we got the crawler which is an outperforming very very nice ride very fast very good to handle very nice very nice I did some good times with the with the growler amazing then we got the retigo racer which still reminds me a little bit of the batmobile that's like straight out of gotham city batman is calling me i don't know that's just how how it looks for me and then we got the street creeper which is um yeah so you see it here stretch limousine that's a stretch limousine i hate it when they're too long because they're e not so easy to handle yeah when you when you're passing over past a hill you kind of you you touch the ground you slow down stuff like that not very nice and so here I mean the growler is my underdog definitely my underdog favorite but here we go the shark bite I mean come on guys we had a fire spinning dragon or you cannot drive or you can drive a shark and here we go definitely for the shark but but as I said before the underdog championship goes to the growler but let's go for the shark bite and there we go with my favorite level which is 36 that is the shark bite let's go here by the way i did an outstanding time with the growler and i was not able to beat it with a shark at all that's what i mean that's why the growler is my underdog favorite even though you see you see i'm i'm, I'm getting ahead there i'm getting ahead there but the Growler has just such a steady performance that he was able to beat me there. Oh man, and I love this little feature. I mean, very, very cool. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good jump, good jump. Very important. Very important. Another one of what? Oh, it looks good. It doesn't look bad. Oh, oh, don't. Oh, he may. Don't fall off that. That was too far. That was too far. The growler beating me. Yeah, that was it. Oh, that's a head-to-head -head race here. Head-to-head race. We got 18 seconds left on the clock, and we overjump that booster. That was stupid. That was stupid. That's what I mean. Sometimes being too fast doesn't really help you. 
There we go. We definitely get that next booster. There comes the swing. The Growler's already home. And we're driving a 101 in 20 seconds. Not bad, not bad. But you see, I was even better once with the Shark Fight. I did 58.77 seconds. But if I almost did flat 58 seconds with the Growler. And this is amazing, amazing performance by the Growler. But still, my love goes out to the Shark Bite. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. This is just the current sets which are all activated and which are currently all released we're actually looking forward i'm looking forward to the next sets i don't know what's coming some of you guys suggested not suggested but they had an opinion some of you guys had the opinion that maybe the attack pack is is about to come and yeah i probably think like at least two more sets are coming i'm looking forward to have them so once the two more sets are dropping the app store uh, hitting the app store or the play store i will definitely play this game up and down again i'm looking forward for that i uh, hope you enjoyed today's enjoyed today's episode of hot wheels racing for my channel so please leave a like so i know you care subscribe if you haven't done that yet and yeah let me know your thoughts of hot wheels race of and your favorite ride in hot wheels race of down below in the comment section and see you next time guys that was a casual mobile gamer